Fletcher. And welcome back to the Banter Show. And we're joined with the lovely Fiona Lynch this evening on the Banter Show. Fiona, thanks for coming to the Banter Show. Oh, thank you very much for good having me. Good to see you. How are you doing? Good. Good, good. Excellent. Well, I'll tell you what, we're going to keep the shout outs a bit, a tad smaller tonight because we're, we're still flat out with Mickey's day. There's the poster. There's the Newry Reporter page. Look. Da -da. Fiona, you're good at this. You are good at this, Fiona. So, um, it's great. To, thanks for all. Kevin Clark, Casey Hire, Kevin, thanks for the generators. Very much appreciated. We've got Dermot McQuaid coming, Kiva McAlevey, um, the Johnny Quinn band. It's going to be really good. Well, all the bands, Jimmy Crossy, so, and lots more. There's a few more surprise guests coming, so. It's getting warm in here, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You know the old crack friends. There you go. Razor. There you go. I'm lethal that hat, aren't I? <laughs> so I'll tell you what. The shout-outs, Mr. and Mrs. The H's. I'll just call them official Mr. H and the only Mrs. H. And that's on Twitter. Uh, Josephie Sultana. Um, Knobs TV. It's going to be a comedy in London written by Josephie and a few others. So listen, I think that'll do the shout-outs for this evening, you know. And uh, a quick shout out to everybody that's been involved with Mickey's Day. I can't believe it's tomorrow. Um, we're, we're all set for a good day. So a big razor. And I want to see the Erie Wiggers in here next week sometime for the Erie Wig Festival. So it's going to be a bit of banter. So let's get on with the show. How are you doing? I'm brilliant. You're good. You're yes. good. And it's great. We're, we're Twitter friends and, and Facebook friends and, and all that. Crack. But yeah. mostly on the Twitter, aren't we? Yeah. Twitter's we stalk each other, follow each other. We Sorry. follow each follow other. Follow each yes, other. Yes, yes. We, we follow do. and support each other. We do. We do indeed. So what's, what's the crack for you? What's oh, the, what's busy, the busy, busy with work and tweeting and getting involved in social media and promoting our my wee youth work Brilliant. projects through social media. So tell, tell us about your youth work then. My youth work. So I sit on a partnership. Um, it's a Newry and more youth strategy partnership. So it's a big amalgamation of all people who provide youth work all over Newry. So we just got chatting one day about young people in Newry and do you know this whole thing where they talk about um, Newry's, there's nothing in Newry for young people anymore, they go to Australia. And we thought, do you know something, people in Newry are quite proud of where they're from. Mm. So we came up with an idea um, on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram, it's called City Snaps Newry. And we have a campaign where people upload photographs um, of things they enjoy about Newry, people, scenes, nights out, anything and they hashtag it hashtag um the hashtag, hashtag Nuri happy days and um, so it just is a feed of continuous things or places or pictures that make them proud of where they're from and then we thought yeah that's all very nicey nicey but what about the real stuff that people you know they give off with trolleys or you know issues graffiti, whatever issue, yeah, yeah. Gra graffiti or you know littering or whatever issues it is that the, the canal yeah so we thought right okay well we'll collect those images too so we have another hashtag hashtag razor for the hashtag friends <laughs> hashtag nearly crappy days crappy days crappy days so, we so thought this we'd... is so it's happy days and then there's crappy yeah, i like everything, that everything happy and crappy about nearly i like that mm. and how's it going then on twitter is there a good reaction to it? There is. Um, I think it's it's a slow burner, I think. Yeah. I think we haven't quite... The papers haven't picked up on it too much, so we are... Now the papers, come on, come on, come on, come on. You're doing their bit for Mickey's Day. Give happy days, hashtag happy days and hashtag crappy days in your day. Give them a wee, a, a, bit of a, mm. a bit of banter. Yeah, it'd be nice to see, like, a, you know, a, a youth-led campaign being positively promoted in the press. Yeah. Because it just seems to be missed quite yeah. often. Well, thanks to Brian Halon. Brian put this coverage in, and uh, he done a very good job. So, Brian, many thanks, and to all at the the What's his name? Brian Halon. He's, he's can we follow him on Twitter? You can indeed. I'm sure you. I'm, I think you are on Twitter, Brian. If not, I, I'll get I'll get the details off, Brian, and maybe tell him to see could he go hashtag. and have a chat with you. Yeah. For your hashtag. hashtag happy days, hashtag crappy days, Yeah. Mary. yeah. That's I a very good a, thing. Yeah, I think it's I think it's a really cool project, and then once we're done. We're going to pull all the images off social media and we're going to display them um, in an art project. Um, so it's like an installation that will set outside, hopefully, the front of Woolworths, the old Woolworths building. Yeah. Um, and it'll be everything happy and crappy about Newry. So everybody can contribute. It's not just young people. It's anybody that lives in that area or businesses or, you know, projects. Like even like here, the Banter Show, I'm sure Banter there's show, lots yeah. of photographs yeah. um, of things people have said or pe scenes in here that have made people think, oh, good crack I actually quite like Newry yeah yeah and the Bumper Show's going now it started off you know a couple of years ago in Destination Newry Razor at all the guys in Destination Newry and 
you know, it's still going. I thought I'd bring it. You know, there's a bigger st lot of studios in here are massive, as you can see. You know, and there's bands playing, and you know. So I like to promote the local bands, and the, you know, anybody do new music projects or indeed film projects, and mm -hmm. you know, as you said, Mickey Dodds, Mickey Razor, he's a great lad. I've only met Mickey recently, and we're we're actually filming a, a comedy short film. I'll not say too much about it. And Mickey was the cameraman, you know, oh, for Pips. Yeah. It was for Pips. Judith Mur Murphy's wrote it, you know. Brilliant. So um, it's very good. There's, there's a lot of talent in Uri. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of really good talent. <clears throat> Excuse me. And as I say, there's a lot of talent coming to this Mickey's days. A few bands, singer songwriters. There's a young girl, Kiva McAlevey, Razor Kiva. And she, I mean, she's a singer songwriter. Or she can sing. The girl mm -hmm. can sing. And she can play a guitar. Peter here taught her the guitar and everything. Like that. So it's <clears throat> it's a good community spirit, you know, mm -hmm. and your friend Eleanor. So they Eleanor. all they live up there, don't Razor they? Razor to the Eleanor. Razor Eleanor and, <laughs> and Eleanor's brother Kenny Murphy, Razor yeah. and young Anthony Fern and all that. So they, they, we're all sort of connected some way, aren't we? Yeah. In yeah. Rainier, you know. Mm -hmm. and, and you know, even in terms of that, that's something to be proud of that the community will come out and support an event like that. So another Rainier Happy Day is there. That's a Happy Day, yeah. Definitely. Are you going to come up to it? Yes, of course. Yeah. Yo, you and Eleanor and the girlies. Oh, I Getting yes. glammed up. Oh, God. Standard. <laughs> Standard. Mm -hmm. Standard. Yeah. Always glammed up, friends. Only in the Panther show. Tough. Yeah, so tell us more about the project now. Uh, again, City Snaps Nuri. City Snaps Nuri. That's just the name of the project. Um, right. But you've only, it's only really started on Twitter, isn't it? Yeah. In the last maybe two weeks. It's a, the young people came up with the idea. Um, they're based in the Magnet Young Adult Centre on Hill Street. Great. Great place. Brilliant resource. Oh, they're amazing. My children went through it too. Did they? Yes. Oh, it's, it's one of those places that people people know that it's there, but they've a really big set of intimidating steps that no one knows what's at the top. And to go into it as a young person or anybody walking past, you sort of, you don't go because you don't know. But once you actually take the step in, they're a great bunch of young people. They're fantastic. Yeah, they're um, creative, aren't they? Very creative. They had a drag show at the weekend. No way. And it was Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. A credit to all the young people that took part. Hilarious, was it? Really, really good. Yeah. I'll have to call down to the magnet because um, I've been you know meaning to go down, and then every time I go down, it's either closed or you've been knocking the door and nobody answers because they're all up the stairs. You know. Well, here they did like this um, Irish Youth Music Awards. They do it every year with Youth Action, and basically what it is, they go to Dublin. The, there's a big heats and all for the right. bands and they have all got they all are assigned a, a role so one of them's a PR manager one's in charge of staging one's in charge of songwriting and they have to come up with a song and stage it and host it and they go through all these heats but then they get to pitch it to big promoters in Dublin um, the one I was at the guy from who signed U2 actually was critiquing it and they were allowed to leave their demos but this is all from the Magnet Young Adult Centre they're fantastic you. so Just so good because uh, as I say, my daughter, she she went down there for years, and now she's a great singer, you know. And hopefully, I get her singing at Maggie's day with her. She's only home from the dairy, you know. Oh, she's living up in the dairy now. Lovely. But a big shout out to all the viewers up in Derry as well. And uh, Corinne Cohen, thanks for sharing all the, and retweeting. You're an absolute star. Big kisses from Ireland over to the USA. And to your, say hello to Matthew T from a Matthew T Metzler. Oh, do you have new it? viewers from the US of A? Oh, look, good, good, strong viewers in the USA. Okay. And um, Stephen Cunningham in Holland. Uh, Miss Anufa in the United Arab Emirates. Uh, Jeff Mueller over in America as well, the artist, digital artist. Good man, Jeff. So there's loads of viewers all around the world, all my cousins and everything, and friends and uncles and everything, aunties and all, all around the world, uh, you know, in Australia and America and all over the place. You're great in Europe. Isn't that mad that that wee camera just literally goes out to everybody? Yeah. Have you any friends around the world you want to give a shout out to? Try friends. Around. Yeah, I have all my cousins in Australia. There you go. Yeah. Hashtag Australia. Hashtag Razor. <laughs> Happy days. <laughs> um, yeah, and America. And yeah, uh, quite a quite a bit there you go mm. there you go and we're in germany we're all over the place honest, that's honestly really yeah amazing and i i love to give them a shout out so big shout out to all the viewers around all the twitter followers all around the world like see how, how positive this happy days campaign is it just like makes see, everybody feel so excited it does yeah it really does you know? and when you whenever you think about the good things in your age you know like who helps who and it'd be you know big brave face and oh i know what i'm doing but it is quite, it's very difficult being a young person. It is, yeah. Very 
There's so many, so much peer pressure as well, isn't there? Jordy Shore. See the likes of all that muck on TV about how you behave as a young person. It's I don't know. Do you? I, I think, and this is my version of it. I think that all these so-called reality shows. I mean, they're not really reality. I wouldn't agree with half of that, would you? They're a very distorted reality. Very distorted. I think now, you, do you remember like in the first Big Brother where it was, they were writing notes and they were mad. Imagine writing notes, smuggling in a pencil. <laughs> you know, and now they're literally having sex under a table. That's Whereas before, you know, things just change so quickly. Even Big Brother's changed from the very start. As you say, they're writing notes and all that. Okay? Yeah. And then people escape and, and you know, as if it's a jail. Why did you go in there, you know? Mm. You know, because there's a big prize at the end. I would go yeah. on it. Oh, would yeah. you? I, yeah, I would. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have bought. Would you not? No. I it, would. I can't sit in the house, let alone <laughs> sit in the Big Brother house. Would you ever think then? I wonder who'd sell a story on me. No, I wouldn't. Wouldn't. Would no. you know? No. I'd, I'd probably sit and have the banter with everybody. You know, uh, waking up on in the, the morning outside, have a Would you not be thinking, oh, who who would write a story about me in the papers this week, or who'd sell something on me? Well, I'm in the paper. <laughs> <laughs> Razor bread, I <laughs> No, I, I mean, it's. I don't know what sort of setup set up it is and why people go into it, you know. I mean, money it, and the fame. It's just money and fame, but that's not enough for me. I'd rather help people out, you know, and such as. And money. Money's only. It's material. Money's material. It's a material thing. It, it's. I think it's the person you are. If you, you know, there, there are people out there and. You know what's going on in their background, their family background and all. And you know they're a bit down the dumps and they're hurting. But they come out and smile. Mm -hmm. They still have time for you, you know. So I, I, don't, I don't get that. Can you be poor and happy though? I'm sure you can, yeah. I'm sure you can. Uh, I know people out there, they're not exactly poor, but they're happy. Mm -hmm. But they're not exactly rich either. But within their, their own lives, they're content and happy, you know. Mm -hmm. There's a strange old world out there, Fiona. We're getting very, like, we we're should have had, take... like, a dressing gown and a pipe and some whiskey or something. We're getting very... There know. is an idea. Peter, have you any whiskey? <laughs> he drunk it. Good <laughs> man, Peter. But, uh, so what's what's next then for, for what you're doing, your youth work? For my youth work? Um, well, we're hoping to get this City Snaps, Nuri. City Snaps, Nuri. Follow us. On Twitter. On Instagram, Twitter, friends. On Facebook. Oh, Instagram as well. On you Facebook. You can find my like on Facebook, on right. follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Good, good. Um, and then just upload. Really, um, we're just trying to keep an eye on the social media and get it out there a wee bit more yeah. because it is, you know, it's a it's a slow burner, and we've we're really I, trying. I've only started on the Instagram really a couple of weeks ago, and um, had a few projects going there recently. We're doing a bit of acting and stuff, and doing a few other projects going. Um. I just didn't go on Facebook for a while. And then any time I go on Facebook, I just like everything. You know, <laughs> I don't bother sharing much. If there's a, something worthy to share, yeah, I'll share it, you know. I, we have to be very careful. My granny joined Facebook. What? My granny joined Facebook. And who is she? Rose Crawford from Bally Martin. Razor <laughs> Rose Crawford from Bally Martin. Bally Martin. Granny was told not to add anyone under the age of 40, but she added us all anyway. <laughs> and she has an incredibly sharp tongue. Good. For example, I got my hair cut around Christmas time. I got a lovely fringe and changed my whole hair and I took a lovely selfie in the bathroom and thought it was lovely. And my granny wrote underneath it, Fiona, I am glad you took this photograph in the bathroom because unless, uh, apart from the tiles, I wouldn't have recognised anybody in the picture. <laughs> Lots of of Good girl, Rose. Keep it up. Mm -hmm. Keep it up. She'd be Lots some baby on the, on the banter show, wouldn't she? Oh, she Banter show. <laughs> it would be like a month long episode. <laughs> her wee knit and natter group that she has in Kilkay Library. Oh, would she's you quit? everything but the crib. Isn't that brilliant? Mm. I think it's great, but. Great month. So she's that's where you get your creativeness from, obviously, is it? Mm, probably. Yeah, because you, you are creative. You're you're doing you're making up projects and everything as well as well. Mm. Creating projects, yeah, aren't you? Yeah, we're we're constantly you know talk talking with young people. They've all different ideas. We were talk actually talking a great project, Tony. Help us make this one happen. Go ahead. You ready? You listen. Listen to this one, Bonter. Listen. Bonter friends. If anybody wants to get involved or with any ideas, let us know. So we were thinking of, um, I think someone actually done it as well. It's called A Mile in Their Shoes. So we're thinking of maybe, you know, uh, women, like raising awareness for a women's charity, for example. And we asked men to don a pair of women's heels and do a mile. Okay. <laughs> Why'd you not do it? 
Have you seen them feet yet? What size here? They've, they've, look, they're only, what, three weeks old, and if the grips wore off them. What do you doing in them? Walking. They're walking shoes. I put them to good use. I have the leaf walked out of them. Size eight, or size nine, sorry. So but if you can easy. get a pair of... Easy. Can you get size nine heels? Yes. Mm. Women's shoes come in a size nine. Paris Hilton's shoes are a size nine. No way. Mm -hmm. But sure, she's from Paris and she lives in, in the Hilton. <laughs> she lives in the Hilton Hotel in Paris. So that's enough of that. Uh, seriously? Yeah. She's got the big feet. Yeah, she's massive feet. She must be a good swimmer, is she? She's tall. See, I'm tall too, but I don't have that big of feet. You have, you, have, you have a nice tattoo there, though. A nice tattoo. Isn't it? That's nice. Lovely. Very creative. Very cr I drew that myself, actually. You, did you? Seriously? Mm hmm. On my lunch break. Just sat down a bit of a doddle and then bring it into the tattoo shop. See what you can do with that. Yeah. That's very good. Mm -hmm. See, that's the creativity about Newry. The There's a lot of creative Newry. people out there, isn't there? Very much so. Mm -hmm. mm. I remember growing up and I went to St Peter's Shine in Clockray, which is another very, very creative school. I hear you mention a few times Hudson Taylor. Yeah. Um, Razor school. for the Hudson Taylor band. Hudson Taylor. Oh, the boys are fantastic. They invited me up to the gig in Belfast. I was at it too in the, in the Mandela Hall. Yeah. Yes, I was there. We were there, me and Jorith Mulholland. You know Jorith? Yes. We, we took a run up on a brilliant, brilliant time, you know. And very, uh, very Jerry good. Morgan, the drummer. Razor Jerry. He was drumming with them. Yes, right. Yeah. And Jer Jerry's now with the James May band. Oh, is he? He's all around the, all, all around the globe. Well, St Peter's Primary School in Clockray, they went to see Hudson Taylor and they covered one of the songs, World Without You. And they played it at their Christmas play. Um, they sang it, sorry, at their Christmas play with African drum. They were fantastic. Oh, they're brilliant. So, so good. That's they're really, good. Them, them guys are talented, yeah. aren't they? But they did, the, the school then met Hudson Taylor. And they were all so excited. So this is how I heard it, is from listening to a Christmas play. Oh, they're fantastic. Oh, they were so, so good. Really I wanted are. to go back and see them then. They, they were playing in the, where was it, the Ulster Hall? I think they like, were. A few weeks ago. Yeah. Up. Yeah. That's brilliant. right. Well, we, we all went to the Empire after that game. Is that where you went? Yeah. Sean Craig, what a great, great night. Nice I driving. We had a new actually he could have came with us, for God's sake. Next time, Hudson Taylor put us in the door. Me and Fiona land up and yeah. whatever. Yeah. Just put Razor and, and Co on the door. We'll come up, we'll have a bit of bumping. <laughs> How's that? Fantastic. Yeah. We actually done a big Razor that night. Did you? Yes, yeah, so outside the Empire. The boys wanted to do Razors. We all got around. One, two, three, and everybody was Razor. It was oh. hilarious. I was actually, we parked just around the corner, we could see there's their, their tour bus, so we didn't do a, a take that stock like I did last time. <laughs> oh, I should do a bit of stock and I'll take that, I'm afraid. Where was that? Bit of story, this one, Tony, too, of course. Right. Take that, or my ultimate guilty pleasure. Yeah. Yeah, I like to think I'm quite a, pretty modern, up to date with music and stuff, but take that, I've always been my wee, my wee thing. So I bought my lovely other half loads of tickets for Christmas. And through and we take that one as well. <laughs> so um, ah, I he, of it. course, was a wee bit miffed as to why we were going to take that. So I said, oh, we're staying in the Culloden as well. Just oh. thought that'd be lovely to stay in. He didn't realise that I knew that's where take that we're staying too. Oh, you ruffian, you. But they wouldn't let me meet them. The security guy, the security guy went, no photos, no photos. So I was ripping. So, so proud. It, was, it wasn't a happy day that day. I met Mark on years ago. I nice, met him outside. Nice I stopped him then outside the Odyssey. I met them there. I'm doing myself no favours here at all. Not at all. Not at all. It's the banter show. You're doing yourself <laughs> plenty of favours. Because everybody see the real Fiona Lynch. You That's know what it. I mean? It's the same as me. You know, mm -hmm. who cares? Um, so, yeah. It's good banter, you know. And a big shout out to Kieran and Hannah. If you want to have to come into the banter show. Who's Kieran and Hannah? Hannah Tell Fields. Oh, yes. I talked to him his lorry one day when he was giving me a bit of a bit of banter in the street. So I'll talk to him and I'll say, right, uh, there's, there's my shout out list in there. Oh, uh, right. So we're... Will we give it? Vinnie Jones and all those Malaga, who's, who's the PR in Malaga? Lexi PR in Malaga. I'm, I'm the beautiful model Amy Ray. So they're a PR company in Malaga and they do lots of stuff out there. So I went into Malaga on the 8th of August. You never know, Lexi PR, keep an eye out for <laughs> Fiona Lynch. At Fiona Lynch. Ray Mysterio and, the, and Sexy the Band. Vinnie Jones, Simply Prestige. Real Carl Frampton. And also want to give a shout out to J Real, at John O'Carroll. John O, wish you the best luck in your upcoming fight. As well as Frank Bullioni. Getting on these programmes. Mm. Clawing each other. The Mafia one. Did you see the Mafia way? That's hilarious. That's, see, see. that's the only one actually that, it, that I've, I've watched a couple of them and it, within the first five minutes I go. You've disrespected my family. I'm just going to. <laughs>
I'm moseying out to the club for a pint, you know. So two minutes of it, and then I go, that's it. I can't watch any more of that. But the the mafia ones, because I mean, I love all the old gangster stuff, and I've read up about it and watched all the films. And you're you're looking at all these names, and I know who they are, who they're talking about. Really. You know, Sammy the Bull and all these. He's going, what? Sammy the Bull Gravano, that's his granddaughter. And, yeah. And then you're going, she actually looks like him, you know? Yeah. No, I, I think, do you know what I think it is? The reason I watch them is to see how, what money looks like. Like, as in, have been no object. Like, yeah. see the inside of their houses. I watch it and think, oh, imagine. Or, you know, they're going to shopping spree. And it's not like me running around Primark with 50 quid on a Friday going, here, <laughs> I need 50 pairs of pyjamas. <laughs> But, you know, money's no object. And yeah. it's, it's a wee glimpse into that lifestyle, I think. But, but there's none of them happy. No, they're not. There's none of them happy. There's they're money. All right down, they're all... And they don't move their face. Uh, they can't smile or anything. But I'll tell you, they can fight. Yeah, they can. The, the, the thin one, one. Trees is in jail. Trees of Judice. The Italian one. The, the black-haired one. Yeah, she's like a funny forehead. Yeah. That she's in jail for her husband for embezzlement or fraud or whatever, but she went to the same jail as you know the orange is the new black. Mm. The lady in it, the the jail it said, and she went to it. No way. Yeah, she's in it for a year, and then her husband he comes in when she goes out, and he has to do five years. It's unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah. Did you did did you did you ever watch uh, Breaking Bad? I did, but didn't finish it. Did you not? No, I got really. I'm I am very dedicated to series. I yeah. will watch them and watch them and watch them, but. I loved the first one, the second one I find a wee bit boring, and I got I've got to the the last episode or the last series. I just never finished it. It just didn't. Well, one of the actors, Matthew T. Metzler, he sent me over Razor Matthew. That's Matthew. I always give him a shout out, and his mummy, Corinne Cohen. I did. She's an Irish woman. She's an Irish woman. <laughs> the last no, one I saw was Gus. Do you remember he came out of the nursing home and yeah. the guy with the ding ding he opened the door <laughs> and then you just went. <gasps> yeah. That was a great. I think that was the last one I saw, and then the moment I lost. And Matthew's a big tall fellow with you know the, the long goatee beard, and he was one of the biker gangs shooting and all. I, and I, I followed it. I'm following him on Twitter. Good man, Matthew. So there you are. You're getting followed. Another another Irish lady following That's you. It. I think I saw you tweeting him one day, and I went, "Oh, hang on, I know his face." Yeah, I'm. Also, I'll give him a tweet because I haven't. I've been that busy this last couple of weeks. Sorry, you know, but flat out doing everything, and. Uh, Matthew, we're going to chat again because he's, he's a down to earth lovey. He sent me over t shirts and everything, you Did know. Did he? Um, so I was going to thought you were going to say he sent you over crystal meth. <laughs> no, you wouldn't get that. I wouldn't be interested in that either. Ugh. Did you, you ever know? see the videos of their teeth? They're, they go black and fall out and everything, don't they? Yeah, or there's, there's ones, there's like videos on YouTube and there are people like at the beginning, so they look like me or you, and then six months down, it's all their photos. They just degenerate, photos. don't they? They just disintegrate, really, yeah, don't it's they? Crazy. they? Some of them are in their 20s and they look. 70s, yeah. 80s. Scary stuff. It is scary stuff. So why would you want to take that? You know, over here we like to think we're Irish. Mm-hmm. That's what we do. You know, we socialise, a couple of drinks. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't do us any harm, does it? No. We can handle it. Razor. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, Fiona. I'm going to call a halt to this one because it looks like we could... I think we're going to have to have a banter show with Fiona part two. Mm-hmm. Maybe okay. even part three. Yeah. You never know. Perhaps. Because I have to go because... Do you know why I have to go? Why? We have to get two generators for Mickey's Day tomorrow. Oh, really? For the bouncy castles. Oh. So, it's good. Up and bouncing, the Robert Stewart, he's coming with the bouncy castles. Kevin Clark, Razor Kevin, he's coming. Or he's supplying the two big diesel generators to power these Is lads. there an age limit as to who can bounce on them? Well, um, there's two. I think we'll give one to the kids and take one for the adults. <laughs> we'll take the biggest one for the adults. We're going to work that out tomorrow, yeah. you know. So it'll be a bit of crack. I'm doing yeah, an MC it. audit as well. Oh, are you? Yeah. Brilliant. And the early wigs coming and, and his minders and everything in the parade. So it's good to be. Okay, come down to the hall us. and get yourself glammed up and we'll all parade up to the Definitely. avenue. How's yep. about that? Hashtag nearly happy days. Happy days and loads of snaps. Loads of snaps, yeah. You can take loads of snaps. Fo- if anyone is even at it or is uploading or you're, you like posting stuff to Twitter or Instagram or anything, remember us. Uh, hashtag nearly happy days or similarly hashtag nearly crappy, crappy days. days. Take your camera tomorrow and we'll spread the word we'll spread the word tomorrow yeah, at Mickey's Day happy. for you. Yeah, all things happy. We'll tell them all to get on the, the Twitter and follow you. How's yeah, that? Perfect. Right. Are you gonna give us a razor? Yeah, hold on to get my fingers out. Ready? Two on the right, one on the left. Got it. Right. Friends, from me and Fiona, razor, we're out of here. <laughs>